this is how far I've gotten so far. And it has been quite a challenge. If you don't do this every day, uh, compound angles suck. Um, it is very difficult to get behind the car to hammer and dolly it when there's a wireframe buck underneath of it. Um, so most of that I'm going to have to wait until I get the wireframe buck out, get the body off and sectioned out into manageable pieces. Um, but so far this is like what, a couple days after Christmas, week after Christmas, almost New Year's. It's not bad. A lot of hammering and dollying through here, here, uh, back in here. This thing, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that thing went up, so I just added it. My first intention was to have no Bondo or anything, but if you don't do this every day, man, it, it's not its not as easy as it looks on TV for sure. But, I mean, let's face it, it is a go-kart. Uh, go-kart with style, but half the car's done. The other half is not done. Um, spinning the car around on the table so I can finish this side. Um, anyhow that's where I'm at so far uh, it hasn't been easy it's not as easy as I thought it would be just because all the compound angles um, <laughs> that one there I think it's tricky I'm sure if you do sheet metal every day it's like oh ain't no big deal but for me it was it sucked it took like four hours and to steal a quote from my friend Mark this is a crock pot craft not a microwave craft <laughs> It, this here is probably two weeks and it's not, in my opinion, it's not even close. It's going to take Bondo. I, I'm not good enough to not use Bondo, but it is just for fun. Um, anyhow, I'll post a picture when I get the other side done, get the wireframe out. Uh, I got the suspension, motor, axles, everything's on its way. Should be here the 4th of January. Um. Anyhow, that's where I'm at. I'll post a picture and videos later.